So before I was diagnosed with ADHD, I was one of those guys who would start a lot of projects and finish exactly zero of them. Uh, now for the last four months, I've been consistently working on my game every day, and here's some tips to help you do the same. So the first step is if you're not actually diagnosed with ADHD, but you think you might have it, go and get yourself checked out. A diagnosis can really change your life. It completely transformed mine into something better. So the next step is don't be afraid to take medication. Medication can literally transform your life. It transformed my life. I can suddenly do the things that I wanted to do but could never force myself to do. Everything is more interesting now. Everything is so much easier now. Don't be afraid of medication. So the next step is write things down. People with ADHD like us need to externalize information in order for us to use it effectively. So use post-it notes like I do to remember what to do. If you have some shortcuts in programs that you're still learning, write them down, put them on a post-it note, stick it somewhere. Anything you need to keep in your head, put it out into your world so that you can remember. Get yourself a board like this, write down your intentions, what you intend to do on your game that day. And then that way, every time you walk past it, it's there. You know exactly where you're at. So the next step is stop playing games or extremely limit the amount of time you spend playing games. If you're playing games, that's time you could spend to make games and many of us don't have that much time. So we need to use our time as effectively as possible and not distract ourselves with things like that. I find that when I play games, I get so sucked into them that I end up wanting to make that game and it just keeps happening over and over and I never finish anything. So the next step is start a YouTube channel so that you have some accountability. Say that you're going to upload at a regular frequency and stick to it. Having the feedback from people and everything like that really helps you keep going without giving up. Okay, the next step is get yourself some candles. Believe it or not, yeah, get yourself some candles. You can use these as triggers to bring yourself back to your work if you ever get distracted. Light them only when you're working and then you'll so gradually subconsciously start to notice when they're lit and when they are there, you'll come back to your work and you'll stop getting distracted as much. Okay, so the next step is listen to the music by this guy named Jason Lewis. He's got some ADHD focused music and it's absolutely amazing. I would literally say it's a second part of my medication. It's really helped me over the past few months of concentrating on what I'm doing. Okay, the last tip is get yourself a fidget spinner, get yourself a fidget cube or a piece of blue tack, anything that you can play with while you're working. It will help you concentrate and it will help you keep in the zone. So thank you for watching, subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Thank you guys, and I'll see you on the next tip video.